Hello my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week. Get ready with me, so shop my stash, turn on your makeup. If it's beauty or makeup related, I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you more than you know. So of course, as you could tell from the title of the video, my Sephora order is here so i'm going to show you my small little haul because i haven't gone crazy during these sales in about two years and i will definitely be applying the makeup products in today's video it's not too many so the video shouldn't be super long yeah so let's go ahead and get started All right, my lovelies, let me show you everything I purchased real quick. I don't want this portion to be super long, um, but before we talk about my actual Sephora haul, I just wanted to show you, this is the only item I participated in the Ulta sales event thing that they had. I use white concealer for some of the eye looks that I do. Not often, but I do. And the one that I own is from Morphe. I no longer support this brand and I've been wanting to find a something to replace this. And About Face has this matte fluid eye paint in the shade white. So this is replacing this. And this is going in the trash. <laughs> Just wanted to share that real quick because this is a new item to my collection. Okay, I have my box right here, so I'm just gonna dig into it. First thing here is the Sephora Collection Daily Brush Cleaner Spray. I use this in between eye looks. So if I film a video and I create an eye look, well actually, not just an eye look, I try to spot clean my brushes in between filming. So I don't like leaving my brushes dirty for too long. This is a backup to my backup because I do go through this quite a bit. Okay, the next thing on here is the Grande Lash Serum. This is the only one that works as well as it does on my eyelashes. I've been kind of switching and seeing if there's any other ones that work as good as this one, and they don't. So this is a backup for, no, not my backup. I already opened up my other one. So this is a backup. Okay, this one was not in the video where I talked about your wish list and my wish list. This was like a last minute add-on, but it's the only last minute add-on that I put in there. <laughs> uh, the Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipstick uh, Pique, I think it's the name of it. I'm pretty excited to try this. I did already open it up and it's pretty luxe. Okay, the Sephora Collection Self Tanning Drops. I use this every single time I wash my face. Uh, I don't always use it at night because I can get pretty tanned if I do that, but three or four days out of the week, I use it both morning and night. That just prevents from my face getting way too pale for my shoulders. I don't know, I just enjoy it. This is a backup for my backup. Uh, the next one is this House Labs uh, Color Fuse Blush. Super excited, I did not try the original formula where the pan was bigger. Fire Moon is the shade that I picked up, but I'm pretty excited to try this out. I think they made it talc free. I think that's what the reformulation is. Okay this Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. It was between this or the Anastasia and I asked for you all to let me know which one you would like to see a review on or for me to try out in this one one. I'm pretty excited. I picked up the shade 16 Light Medium Cool. I hope this is a good match. Uh, I was pretty hard to pick a shade. The Kayali Eden Juicy Apple perfume and this is a travel size my sister i sent it to her in a care package and she loved it and she said i should probably try it so i'm excited i will be putting this on at the end of the video and see what i think okay last but not least is from simi hayes beauty the skin suede melting bronze balm i've only seen like two or three people review this one of them being Tamia b wells and she actually does really enjoy this and i believe it was in her recommendations video so i'm excited to try this out that's everything not a lot 
So let me go ahead and figure out primers and then we can start with applying the makeup. All right, hair is pulled back, primers are on. I went in to the Ilia Face Milk, the Hourglass Vanish Primer, the one that's like a mattifying primer for my T-zone and the Denisa Myricks Yummy Skin like Serum Primer for the perimeters of my face. Now let's talk about this Urban Decay product. It's the Face Bond Self-Setting Waterproof Foundation. Retails for $40 and there's 40 different shades available. Like I mentioned, I picked up 16 Light Medium Cool. It has a 12 month shelf life. Let's see if I can find where it was made. Made in USA with US and or imported ingredients. Okay, so I'm on the Sephora website, a lightweight waterproof foundation with the skincare benefits of a serum and self setting powder for blurring effect in a medium coverage, matte finish. Medium coverage, ooh, that's, I'm not sure about that. It has like all these claims on here. It kind of reminds me just a tiny bit of Charlotte Tilbury, all the claims that they put on their unicorns. 3% niacinamide. I have seen a couple of reviews with this. Here's what the bottle looks like. Pretty sleek. I actually do really enjoy this. And this is one fluid ounce. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one fluid ounce. I originally was thinking maybe to pick up shade 18, but I did watch Magdalene Janet and she swatched it on her hand and I feel like her and I, like I'm usually a shade lighter than she is and I think she used the 16 and it worked good for her. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'll do one side of the face first and then the other. Okay. Okay, I think that'll be a good match. I don't know if it's really like, oh, I didn't shake it. I'm already failing at that. Okay, I'll shake the bottle for the other side. You're supposed to shake it. It says it on the bottle. <laughs> this is the BK Beauty 106. Okay, that's actually blending right into my skin. I also had a really hard time picking a shade. I wouldn't say this looks cool. Okay, I did go in with just the slightest bit more amount. Uh, it is a little squeezy tube, so I can tell you if it was a pump, two pumps. But if you've already been here for a minute, then you already know that I don't like to use a ton of product when it comes to foundation. I went ahead and swatched it. Maybe it does have like a peachy undertone to it, but I feel like it blended pretty well. I would say this side looks a tiny bit blurred. The texture looks pretty smooth doesn't feel dry like powder. Okay, let me go ahead and now do this side. Okay, here's what it looks on the whole face. I wouldn't say it's a perfect match. And I didn't go with the next shade up, 17, because it was described as a uh, light, medium, warm. And then like I said, 18 looked a tiny bit too dark. So I think I'll be able to make this work. So far, so good. Um, I don't feel like it's accentuating absolutely anything. Face looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in real quick with these two under eye products. Cali Ray under eye brightener and the Fenty wear even concealer. And I'm gonna speed through this. BK Beauty 110. Fenty. Same brush. Okay, I spoke too soon. Right at the top of my nose, it was looking a tiny bit like it was just sitting on top of my nose. My allergies have been horrible. So my nose is a little bit dry. Like it's just not the situation right 
now. So I just did my trick with the setting spray. I just spray the back of my hand, dip whatever tool I use to apply my foundation, and just gonna dab it to make sure that it just melts into my skin. That seemed to have done the trick all is well now. Okay, now we're gonna use this Simi Haze Beauty Skin Suede Melting Bronze Balm. Comes in six different shades. $25 is what it retails for. I picked up the shade 03 Oak, which is described as a medium with warm peach undertones, a nourishing balm that can be used on face and eyes to add warmth. Uh, let's see. It has an 18-month shelf life, and let's see see if I can oh made in Italia very simple packaging I actually do enjoy this it reminds me a tiny bit of skincare and here is what the component looks like it reminds me of a hockey puck <laughs> and you just twist it and there it is hopefully it's an okay shade here's the swatch of the urban decay and it's not moving which is good it's blurring out like it's not stain, 100% put, but it's sticking. Okay, all right, let me swatch this. Ooh, you know what this reminds me of? This texture reminds me of the rose ink cream blushes that she has. So I think I'll like this. Oh, this looks kind of dark. <laughs> um, hopefully I didn't make a mistake. I think this is the shade that Dania B. Wells says she picked up. But I like that shade. It doesn't look too warm. It doesn't look too cool tone. Not even, I would definitely agree that it has a kind of sort of peachy undertone. Okay, hopefully that is a good thing. I am going to use my finger to apply this. I was actually super excited to try this out because when it first launched, I was intrigued by it. I forget why I decided not to pick it up, but now I have it. I'm gonna use the Nikki and BK Beauty N105. Hopefully it's a good formula. And it'll just blend right in. I do feel like I have to work at blending it in and it's not just blending in super easy like other cream products I own so maybe dipping directly into the pot with the brush is better but this tone I'm enjoying it it's pretty Okay, that's what it's looking like. So pretty, blended out beautifully. I did jump in just a tiny bit into the Victoria Beckham Contour Stylus for a tiny bit of contour. Yeah, looking good, enjoying it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add cream blush powder, powder bronzer, <laughs> and then we'll have the House Lapse uh, powder blush to play with. So probably we'll speed through all of that. Okay, that's what the makeup is looking like. Loving it. Now we're gonna talk about the House Labs blush. This is the Color Fuse Talc Free Blush Powder with Fermented Arnica. I'm pretty sure the talc free portion is what's new and why it was reformulated. It retails for $32 and there's six different shades available. I don't remember how many shades prior to this reformulation there was. Uh, I do know that some of these are new shades and some of them were existing shades. I also do know that the packaging changed. This is a lot smaller than <laughs> the prior component. I'm okay with that. A lot of people um, are not okay with that. 
I'm okay with it. I'm pretty sure the other big huge blushes were like $40. This is $32. Um, I don't know what the difference in size is. If it's half the size and it only went down $8. Uh... <laughs> so this is a talc-free blush with fermented arnica that helps reduce redness and hydrating squalene and hydroberry that melt onto skin. One swipe blendable color. I personally love Arnica. I use Arnica for a lot of things. It helps so much with bruising, with inflammation. Like anytime my kids have some sort of like ouchie, if I can use it on them, I will use it and it helps so much. Okay, here is the packaging. I do own the bronzer from House Labs and I do really enjoy it. Probably should have brought it out today to use it because it's a really good formula. There's what the component looks like. So pretty. I really love the fact that this coincides with the shade that is inside the component. And there it is. So pretty. Almost looks like a bronzer. So I'm hoping it actually looks like an actual blush on my cheeks. We shall see. Did I tell you? No. Fire Moon. <laughs> It has a 24 month shelf life. Oh, that's amazing. That is great. And it was made in Italia. I'm pretty sure, I think the bronzer is also made in Italia. Yep, same formulation as the bronzer, which is almost like a cream to powder kind of formula. It's really nice. Ooh, it feels so soft. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost like a terracotta orange, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna use this Nikki N17 with BK Beauty, and I'm gonna use the dark side. I probably should have brought out my Sonia G blush brush. It's my favorite, but let's see how it does with this. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is so pretty. I love this color. I don't have too many shades like these in my collection. And that is the main reason why I picked this color. Ooh, loving this shade. It's almost like a blush that you can possibly use as like bronzer too. The formula is absolutely beautiful. All right. Eyes are done. I also went ahead and did my eyebrows, used the Gucci Brow Pencil, the Make Beauty Brow Gel, and then for the eyes, I went in to the Melt Palette, the Fatally Yours that they did with Bailey Sarian. I used this dark shade, which is called Mercury in the outer corner. And then I used this shade here, Arsenic, to blend out the edges. I wanted sparkle, so I did go in to the Hourglass Scatter Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Smoke for a little bit of shimmer. Oh yeah, and for the inner corner, I went in to the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes, the original, <laughs> and I think that's it for now. Okay, now for the very last new makeup product I purchased, which is from Westman Atelier. It's the Lip Suede Hydrating Matte Lipstick with Hyaluronic Acid. This retails for $50, and there's 10 different shades available. $50 is a lot of money for a lipstick. Uh, I'm not sure what told me to add this last minute into my cart, but I did, so here we are. Um, I can't remember what video, but it was either the last video or the video before that where I said, I don't want to pay $50 for a lipstick. <laughs> I didn't. I got 20% off, but still, that's quite a bit of money if you ask me. Okay, the shade that I purchased is Peak. Look, I googled it and it said Peak, but the E has like an apostrophe or I forget what that symbol is called. So when I see it, I think Pique. If you know the correct pronunciation, comment down below. A hydrating matte lipstick, I'm on the Sephora website, infused with hyaluronic acid and peptides to plump lips and soften lines, nourishing vivid pigment that doesn't feather. Okay, here is what the unicorn looks like. It's glossy. I would have expected this to be maybe like a soft matte since it is a matte formulation. Uh, what is the shelf life on this? 12 months and it was made in Italia. The component matches the unicorn. There it is. Definitely feels like it has weight. It does have weight to it. It does feel luxurious. It's a glossy type of outer packaging. And then as always, the little details, the Westman Atelier there. I don't see the heart, but 
on the actual bullet itself it does have the little hearts which i think is so cute it has a sweet scent mm. it reminds me of cupcake frosting i'm going to swatch it on the opposite hand because oh that feels soft oh this is reminding me a lot of the new merit matte lipstick they just came out with so pretty I have swatches of blushes to compare the house labs with. All right, I took out my new Hourglass lip liner in which shade is this? Tempt 3. It seems like it might be a good liner for this shade. We shall see. I have seen a few reviews of this lipstick and so far people are enjoying it. I mean, I would hope so. It's $50. If I wasn't picking it up for the Sephora sale, I would not have picked it up. Okay, now for the lipstick. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. So, so pretty. It almost feels like it's soft, lightweight, almost airy but it doesn't feel like a true matte beautiful shade all right my lovelies face is completed i did jump in to the what's up beauty serengeti highlighter in safari sunset for my highlight and also my brow bone love that you already know i love that if you've been here for a minute okay so i swatched some blushes for my collection because I feel like the shade I purchased, Fire Moon, is a pretty unique shade and certain skin tones might feel like they might not be able to use this. Um, so I went ahead and swatched other blushes um, that kind of reminded me of this particular terracotta burnt orange, like tiny bit, just, uh, it's a beautiful shade. It, it reminds me of summer and it looks gorgeous on my skin tone, I feel like. Okay, so the first one I thought of was this Pat McGrath, which is Paradise Glow, and it's one of the duo. So I swatched that right underneath. So this is the House Labs, and this is the Pat McGrath. Then I thought, maybe Pillow Talk. I might have swirled a tiny bit too much of the middle into it, but here is the swatch of Pillow Talk. Let me see if I can pick up more of just the outside of the blush because I feel like the inside portion gives you just too much glow. No, yeah, for sure, not even close. After that, I thought of the Chanel 798 Beige Rosé et Mauve. This one's a tiny bit too, unlike the purpley plum side. And then I thought of the Patrick Ta She's Baked, just the powder portion, but no cigar. So I think the closest would be the Pat McGrath, I feel like. So if you have this and it works for you, then the House Labs will work for you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those swatch comparisons that I decided to add real quick in this video. Okay, last but certainly not least, the Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. This has been, I feel, around for a minute. I've been eyeing it, never purchased it. I can already smell it. Okay. Mm. I don't think it would be for everyone. I wonder if the notes are on here. Juicy red apple, wild berries, jasmine, lychee, vanilla flower, and sensual musk. It smells wonderful. Oh, I'm glad I picked it up. Yeah, my sister was right. I like it. Now we're gonna go over everything real quick. This is like the fifth time I've tried to film this already. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and insert footage here from my phone because I definitely feel like the phone camera is different from this Canon that I use. And so far, so good. I feel like my base looks beautiful, airbrushed, just gorgeous. I'm able to make this shade work even though it's described as a cool tone. I think once everything else is applied, it looks pretty nice. I'm hoping it'll still work during summer when I get some tan in, but 
we'll see. I will keep using this anytime I purchase a new base product. I make sure that I use it for at least two weeks just so that I can make sure that I have good thorough thoughts on the product itself. I think I might feature this again in a, another video so far. Okay, Urban Decay, I see you. I never tried that latest, what was it, Quickie Concealer, I think. I never tried it, um, but I might have to now. Okay, for the bronzer, the Simi Haze Beauty Skin Suede Bronzer, I think the tone is absolutely beautiful. I was a little scared when I first swatched it, but it's pretty. I do feel like it's a tiny bit more of a drying formula because when I applied it with my finger, I had to work pretty hard to get it blended in. But once I did, it looked absolutely stunning. But for me, I'm just going to dip my brush right into it to fix that problem. I'm excited to keep using this. Okay, the House Labs blush. I love this. Absolutely love it upon first impressions. I don't think my mind's going to change. Formula is absolutely stunning. This feels so wonderful. Blends out like a dream. I did not use like my Sona G brush, which I feel might actually make it look even more pretty. I don't mind the component. I don't mind the size. This actually is a tiny bit better for me personally. Okay, the Westman Atelier lipstick. Uh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I do not regret at all buying this. It's so pretty. This shade is gorgeous. It might be a new favorite. <laughs> it might be a new favorite. So pretty. Love this. The packaging. Everything about it. Love it. Westman Atelier is definitely a pretty luxurious kind of brand, but... I got 20% off and I'm enjoying the formula. I think it is absolutely stunning. I still have the swatch here. Ooh, super soft, but I don't think it's going to last because I just swatched that. Most of it came off, so I don't think this is going to be a super long lasting formula. Is that everything? Oh, that's everything. Okay, good, we are done. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, uh, that's going to be it for this video. It was a super successful haul plus trying on video. Everything I loved that I purchased that's new to me, which is great. Uh, I feel like ever since I stopped going all out for the Sephora savings event, the videos have been pretty successful and I enjoy pretty much everything I try. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly all does mean the world to me. Even if you just comment an emoji down in the comments, that helps me out so, so much. But I would love to know if any of the items I picked up, you picked up, um, what you picked up for the sale, if you even participated. Let me know down below. I love talking to you all in the comments section. It's my favorite part of any time I upload a video. So comment down below. And with that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on the next video.